Hey all you rusty freaks, look, no intro! Last videos were parts one and part two of this wipe, which is all about getting blueprints. So if you wanted a PvP compilation, no, this is the kind of thing I'm doing. Just sneakily jacking people's loot. Lots of repeating of doing monuments. And in this case, look at my inventory. There's a blue card in there. So in this building, you can put the fuse in. And then all you have to do is leave this building and head over towards where the recycler is. It's it's one of the easiest blue puzzles to do in Rust. Don't forget, if you want to, take advantage of the barbed wire fence. It lets you creep this completely silently. I was a bit disappointed that there was no military crates, but a red card is always good. No green boxes, no military crates. That is lame. On a 2x server, 445 scrap is a small loot run. So after having done, you guys, if you watched parts one and part two, you would have seen I've done almost everything. I've flown minicopters, I think I did a raid or two. I yeah, I did um, launch site, uh, yeah, all sorts of things. So what am I doing here? I made this long trek to build a boat base. Actually, I want to get into the submarines, but don't do what I'm doing here. Check this out. Who builds in the dark? This became the most munted boat base ever built in Rust because I started building in the dark and just made mistake after mistake. <sighs> Instead of starting Too from dark. scratch, I just kept going and trying to fix mistakes. Like the bit that my boat's in doesn't even connect to anything else. I literally have to go around into the ocean to get into my boat. But yeah, it's all fun and learning. Don't and now I'm trapped in here? Don't forget, for the submarine portion, you need to make the ceiling higher so that when you jump out of the submarine, you, well, you can actually jump out because otherwise you'd be hitting your head. There she's finished. El Monto. Shoot some fish. El Monto. Boat and sub base. So now I've got to buy a sub. So there's a the nearest monument is this little outpost. Hit some signs on the way. And yes, I got enough to buy myself a sub. Luckily didn't run into anyone. I always like to have a gun with a um, scope on it if I can as a solo. It gives you a huge advantage. Luckily I even found a horse on my way back. Yes, and yes. Oh, perfect. Oh yeah, this was exciting. I I haven't had a sub for many months and I do love them. The atmosphere inside it is so cool. Like it sounds and looks really like you'd expect a uh, kind of do-it-yourself do sub to look. And a lot of... Um, look, picked a good spot. Um, yeah, a lot of navigating in these is, is the map, of course, because you can't see much. I mean, you can turn lights on and off with your default torch torch on and off or flashlight on and off key. But most of it, you're going to have to navigate looking at your map. And here's me lining up for the boat base. Through the magic of editing, I made it look like I was a lot better at docking in my <laughs> sub base than I actually was. Um, yeah, I had to kind of go over this lip that was basically the bottom of the doors. But I get there in the end. And yeah, you'll see what I mean by when you stand up, you have to leave headroom inside the base. I put a shotgun trap in there because, of course, there's no kind of airlock. Ta-da! 
It's not bad. Ah. Perfect. That leads to an airlock entrance. Back at home. Bring the horse back into the into its stable. And I I always like to have a small refinery and uh, composter. Of course, on this blueprint wipe, the composter was used for turning horse poo to fertilizer, which I could sell at the um, outpost, because the outpost here on this hollow server is like a bandit camp. Built a second base. It's basically the same base design as I always do, except on this one, I made more room underneath the ground. Uh, I mean, underneath the ground floor, so to speak. There, this bit here. Just a bit of extra room, but it's essentially the same base design I always use, a 1x2 or sausage dog style base, which the only way in is a drop down that's uh, guarded by at least two shotgun traps. Makes it impossible to go deep on you, and no one raids it because they just look at it and go, oh, this guy's, that's just a starter base. Ta-da! I'm so done with this wipe. Although I don't know it yet at this stage. <laughs> this poor guy. I made a shorts video of this. He's the nicest guy ever. Turns out I've been ganking him. <laughs> this isn't even, this isn't this even is worth the it. the third time you've gotten me with the double barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. Me? I just glog on, I come here. I'm uh, recycling, I get my... No, no, no. Buy you every time. No, I, I think... No, it wasn't me. You're thinking of someone else. But he was right. Was not, are you sure? I, I swear to God last night, old yeah. man Paxus... Oh, okay. Blasted. I kept trying to come in with like a, a Revy. It might have been last night, yeah. I don't have any heals, sorry. Maybe, maybe. It's, it's all fun of the game, so... Alright. I'll just, I'll just hit the GG once you snipe my ass, so... <laughs> okay, see ya. I really only showed that to show how nice almost everyone was on this server and on my way back home from meeting him I saw this other guy leaving the supermarket so I thought I'd see if I could have a go. I loaded up my slugs and I actually meant to hit him but then I lost him. You'll see. I almost consider oh, these. Oh, do you live here? <laughs> I almost consider these guys neighbors. Hello? And remember this base, because something happens here. But anyway, I saw an airdrop, so I raced off to it, and I believe it's this base to the right, the sheet metal one. But I snuck up on it, and I guess they forgot about it. And <laughs> yeah, I got away. By the time they realized, they just saw me in the distance, took a couple of shots at me. The idea was to heal up, find a good spot to uh, kind of wait for them to keep chasing me and then ambush them. Heart pounding, running away, you know how it is. I figured after this dip in the road, you know, after, after this here, this dip here, I'd, I'd have them, but they never turned up. So on my way home, I heard a primitive raid going on. I thought I'd just go past them. But this guy jumps out. <laughs> Actually run into him again later on too. So stick around, don't leave yet. This is them actually. One more shot. No. This is so funny. This is another example of how nice these people on this server are. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't shoot three times. Um, Yo, it's can me you... again! I was at your base earlier! <laughs> yeah, I was just mucking around. I want to test these, like, flashbangs and, um, thingies. Can you pick I, me up? I got to, no and, and you use them? You use them. them no, no, here, you! 
you, you throw these. I was like, was you? Remember when I ran past and blasted you? Because <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. Oh, that was my buddy. Ah, oh, right. Buddy. I don't know, just throw it. Throw it. Woo! It leaves a trail. It leaves a trail as you throw it. Like, from your arm. Flashbang out. <laughs> yeah, it works good. The flashbang's good. Yeah. But I think the Molotov cocktail's too powerful. Four of them and you can raid straight through like a wooden wall. So here I am again. Yeah. I was just wondering if you know your neighbors over 070. Wait, what? I was just wondering if you know your neighbors approximately northeast from here. Uh, no, we do not. No worries. Alright. Uh, I live in that little tiny base uh, across the road towards um, water treatment. Okay. Yeah, take it easy. So after being a good neighbor, I go home and just stop yeah, to hit a couple of barrels. I think I just talked to you. These two door, guys yeah? killed me. Really? That's the guys I was just talking to at that base right there. Really? <laughs> you primitives. What's the point? I can come bring you an AK. Right then and there, I decided to teach these guys a lesson. I was going to give them the scare of a lifetime. Look what I've got. See, you don't need to be a Chad, and you don't need to uh, find the best guns or you whatever. You guys are bullies. If you have the scrap, you can get anything. I got this gun literally by getting scrap. <laughs> can you imagine how terrifying that would be? Hearing that when you're inside. Take a note of their base design. If I really wanted to raid them, I would have brought a ladder because that's a neat trick to do. You just put twig on a high up entrance and then if someone goes to raid your door, they can't jump in unless they have a, a ladder or a teammate or something that they can jump up on. <laughs> the hit markers. <laughs> uh, that'll learn them to bully me, friendly neighbor. <laughs> Bullies. Hey guys. <laughs> I was just kidding. I brought your pump action shotgun back and some Rastige eggs and enough metal frags to replace your doors. I put I it by before about living in a small base, so I don't trust you. I <laughs> what do you Can mean? You... I do live in a small base. Can you believe these guys? Like he thought I lived I couldn't possibly live in that little base just because What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> just because I had the HMLMG. Uh, sure. You can come out, I'm naked. I put your stuff by your front door. No, I'm good. I don't need handouts, man. I'm good. He's no, it's the metal frags from the doors I destroyed. Stuff, stuff happens. He's offended. Nah. I don't need ornaments. I, I don't. Stuff, stuff happens, dude. I, I, I just remember names. Now he's insinuating. I don't want to be offline. offline. That's not cool. Yeah, that's what's going to happen. Oh, that's it's probably going to be an online and I'm probably going to fail. How low is that? Offline. So even offlining is pathetic. Tell someone you're going to offline. Uh, it's okay, dude. It's okay. I just wanted to scare you for bullying me. Hey, there's a guy on the horizon. Don't come out. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it wasn't my decision. It was my friend's decision. Uh, this okay. is when he starts turning. Yeah, His attitude starts changing from... Yeah, the new Ross being it's a bit sad. Bitter. I might have to go to one of those servers that's like really high population. Doubtful. If you want a different one, friendlier. if you want a server that's like this server, no YPP, all that stuff, but it's a more populated, then you gotta go to uh, what's it called? Rusty Moose. Rusty, Rusty Moose. A lot more popular. Monthly? Yeah, they, yeah it's, it's monthly, it's one times, and then no BP wipes also. Yeah, so ping, ping sucks, yeah. Mm. Wow, I've never... Oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Damn. 
This is the other thing I said mentioned before. You can turn fertilizer into scrap, and it's so easy to get fertilizer. You just build a composter, and you just throw horse poo in there. Look at that. I decided to go and do some underwater labs. Now they have made them smaller, I guess to discourage clans, um, but they're still worth doing, especially for a solo. Unfortunately, I got here and look, there's no loot boxes. Someone must have just done it before me. Ah, oh, someone's been here. Why don't I have my silencer? Look at that. Zero damage. What a horrible color. It's like no wall there. Look at it. The light doesn't even work on it. That's a glitch. What's with these walls? They're painted like that ultra black paint. I bring cards. Jesus. Green and blue. Now, I've got both. It's a lot of effort to go to get a sub and everything, come all the way out here. So I decided to wait. And while I was waiting, I'd sit inside the sub. It is it's a pretty cool sub. Yeah, it's an awesome thing. It's well designed. It looks cool. Even the sounds inside are cool. So I just waited in here for a while. And uh, sure enough, after a bit, the loot had respawned. And that's what's next. Oh, look at that. Funny it was coming this way. Like if it went counterclockwise. Should I do oil rig? Yes, loot has spawned. Oh, look at that. That alone, the crude alone was made it worth coming here. Oh, look at this. Even just this one room has made this whole trip. Even buying a submarine. Almost. Well, not quite buying the sub, but this whole trip. Actually, this is convenient. You should always have diving gear with you when you do go boating or, or go in the submarine. Now, I don't normally like doing this, but since I just happened to bump into it on my way home, I figured may as well. Especially since uh, the underwater labs didn't have all the loot that they normally have in them. I just don't like that this takes so long. You have to cut these loot boxes free before you can loot them. Here's a tip, a lesson for anyone who doesn't know. Okay. So, remember how I was, when I first set off, I was looking at the timer and that when you surface, it resets. And it's about 10 minutes. Well, I went outside to tell the neighbor's dog to shut up and to do a bit of gardening. Um, and I really wasn't gone that long, but I guess it was 10 minutes. And I've drowned. So, I'm going to have to respawn at my... Boat sub base, see, munted boat sub base, and come all the way back. And I don't even have flippers. I'm literally going to have to maybe run along there and then swim. 
I could take the horse, but I don't want to lose the horse. Ugh. What a Diving gear, swam all the way out to my sub, got my sub, drove all the way home, then came all the way back to my main base to recycle everything I got in the underwater labs and the wreck, only for this to happen. It's your neighbor, Paxis. Died. Aw, oh, man! Of course, I gear up as fast as I can. Look straight over there with the scope. Try. I want to get them back, but I don't see anyone. I go over there. They've definitely booked it. Obviously, to depot all my loot. Now, someone did head this way, but I figure they were either just coming to grab some of the loot they left behind or something, but they didn't have my loot on them and this didn't go too well either kept getting those weird God little damn lag yeah lag spikes never playing this server again it's the ones you get when you pvp it can even happen on a re on, on your region if you're playing on the correct region and it was this fight just let it finish Right, without getting angry, I did kind of um, get tilted. Not tilted, but I just got fed up with the server. I'd, I'd achieved what I wanted to. I'd got all the scraps. So here I am advertising my basis to the first person that gets here. I might have my headset off the whole time. Yeah, I'm a duo. I would definitely love yeah. you guys. All right, don't stand there. Don't don't follow me in the shotgun traps. I hope no one else comes now. Now, okay. you see, it's designed to look like I can't afford shit. And just like, today I did yeah, this. Yeah. Today I did this just oh, to make oh. it look right. just to make it look like it's been raided. Fake door. Yeah. On building block. Let me just grab the shotgun shells. Yeah, no one can go deep on you in a base like this because it's a, a drop down to shotgun trap. You put oh, 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 definitely. The moment you make bases more sheet metal and high qual, that's when they become attractive to raiders. Oh yeah, and probably become pricey too. Thank you so much, dude. You know this Twitch Rivals thing gives you a hundred comfort? Close the door. Yeah, sometimes I put the bag here, which is not the best for trapping people, but that one's behind, you know, where the action would be if you're trapping someone. It's a great trap-based yeah, design, yeah, too. Fun. Awesome. All right, pal. Fantastic. Have fun. Time for the weird stuffs.